Hey everybody, been wanting to do this video since the beta version came out for the black box here. Uh, but since I drug my feet a little bit, we're actually at 2.0, the full blown 2.0 upgrade for the black box. And uh, man, when this beta came out, what a surprise. They have uh, continually um, surprised me. I've been a black box user owner for a little over a year now, and they have come out with some awesome um, updates this time, but they have really come out with a lot of awesome updates over the last year. They really listen to uh, the users over the forum and are always continually adding features. You think with this thing being so small, um, I'm actually surprised at some of the things that they added uh, this go around, but um, yeah, as you guys know, this is one of my favorite things uh, to sample with and to produce with just because it gets you out of the studio. It has a great sound. I don't know what it is, but it must be the converters or something, but this thing just sounds awesome compared to um, some of the other uh, portable samplers I've had. And, uh, and the portability is just unmatched. If you check out my video uh, on my battery setup, my um, portable battery and travel setup, which I'll put a link to somewhere over here. Uh, you can see how I how I take this, how I carry it, the little case that I use, a battery setup um, that I have Velcro to the back, uh, just real compact and um, a nice travel setup. Work with it and uh, on the couch and on the bedroom all the time, laying in bed. Uh, so, anywho, let's get on with the actual uh, upgrade. Uh, thing here and one of the things that I wanted to mention was uh, in my one of my previous videos the OP1 um, and the black box are they the perfect pair uh, one of the things that um, that I mentioned in there was my workaround for a blank MIDI clip and now they, they actually do have um, a blank MIDI clip available we're gonna go to a empty sequence here I have one loaded up that for demonstration later and we're going to go to keys and we're going to go to MIDI. And now if, we, uh, if we're if we sending MIDI in, the MIDI input, uh, which we could do earlier as well, but also uh, straight over the USB because this is a, a MIDI host, or if you have like a, a pads or a, another MIDI controller uh, straight into the device, USB in or the actual MIDI in, um, there it is. So we don't have to do the workaround that I had in my uh, OP1 black box video. So now to what I think is uh, some of the most exciting and uh, surprise features that they've added, and that is the filter and the LFO. So if we just select a, a pad here and we hit info, hit info again, and now we see a whole array of knobs. So uh, these four knobs will now control this within the pink box. And if we want to control these four, uh, we just select over here and we have that. So we have a full uh, ADSR envelope which, um, and we also have filter with resonance and we have quick access to our level and pitch, uh, which is, which is super nice. So, uh, let's just, let's, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this in context here, but Not a bad sounding filter either. So, uh, and then onto our modulation. So if we want to uh, modulate something, we just hit LFO. What's really cool is uh, we can sync it to the beat. So if we just enable that, now we can um, say what we want to uh, sync it to, our waveform, our depth. Um, but uh, how, how do we get there? How do we, um, how do we pick what we're modulating? Uh, so that's pretty, pretty uh pretty straightforward so if we just go uh, back and uh, we're on the main and we hit filter and then we hit info we're going to be modulating the filter i got a little lost in the um in the menu when i was trying to first figure this out because i would be i would be here at the filter and then i'd want to go to the lfo and then hit info and that that is kind of a little bit different menu there so what you want to do is actually Pick whatever parameter that you want. I mean, you can, you know, modulate the attack, hit info. Now you're at modulating the attack. So filter, info. Now we can pick the depth amount. And let's see if it's uh, firing up already now. I think we can hear it just a little bit there. Let's go back. with this 
speed and the depth. Get that real wobbly effect with the faster stuff. Where we can get a kind of a cool slow moving effect over four bars. Change the waveform. So I've been really excited about that and that's been a lot of fun just having the filter for shaping the sound but then when you start modulating it's cool and um, you know you can modulate so much stuff and they've set it up really cool where you can uh, you know have some other sources for modulation like velocity like you could before but you can um, uh, modulate other things there's some cool videos out there that's not really my style but modulating like the start uh, position the end position or loop points uh, you get some uh, really cool stuff um, there and you can also uh, do some learning functions uh, within there this isn't going to be an in-depth uh, review and showing every function I just want to give a little overview and in, in my two cents the other feature that uh, is pretty cool but I don't use uh, pads with it so I'm not going to show um, I'm not going to demonstrate it but they have a, a, a way that you can trigger recordings and um, and basically really get into it like a looper um, by using like a 16 by 16 uh, pad and having each uh, or sorry 64 by 64 pad 64 total pads uh, with a little grid within each one that controls different uh, segments and there's a there's a lot of cool videos out there um, showing how to how to do that uh, one of the other things you can do is tap the tempo now in song mode um, you can just come up there and, and tap, uh, which is cool. I still wish um, that they would give us uh, fractions of, um, of BPM. One of the other uh, fun functions that I'm really excited about is the expanded effects section. Uh, let's find a cool sound and experiment with this here. Maybe uh, this one. Let's try this one. Oh, I'm gonna reveal where my samples are from there. Uh, and that is within the effects. We now have a few more, um, few more extra goodies in here. So um, we obviously have the delay feedback. Well, we have a width. Um, we can sync it or unsync it to the beat, which we could do before, but we have a filter that we can turn on and off. We have a ping pong, and I believe the, they might have improved the, uh, the algorithm a little bit. So let, let's uh, go back here and add a little bit of delay. I can't, I can't remember. I think that dampening is a new feature on the uh, on the reverb side of things, if I remember right. So let's add a little. Um, make it real uh, exaggerated here so we can hear it. No dampening, really kind of wet and bright, very bouncy in the room. Bring up that dampening. Kind of tamp it down a little bit. Think about uh, concrete space and then sticking some mattresses in there, dampening the walls. Uh, and then the last of the features that I wanted to show you that I'm excited about uh, is within the effects. If you double tap it here, um, now we have a fully uh, parametric 
uh, with high and low shelves uh, EQ and it's a it's a master EQ it'd be, be nice if we had this on every channel but uh, you know we'll take them as they come because it is a really uh, powerful feature to have a master so now we, we have a master bus compression you know under our under our tools which I'm not using right now and we have a master compress or a master EQ just by pushing effects twice so uh, you can slide the frequency back and forth of the knobs uh, adjust the cue and then um, that's the type so you can have a low cut or a high cut um, you know and you can just grab these you can also uh, grab them just like that on the screen which is which is pretty pretty cool um, so you see and now we got a, a bell a fully parametric bell we can narrow the cue great little graphical interface uh, can use it as a special effect you know and obviously I've given away uh, a cool little trick there if you hadn't considered it yet and that is that it, it's also basically like having a, a filter on the master bus so you can use it in that way or you can use it as just a kind of a final mix uh, filter so and one last thing I wanted to mention that I forgot is um, in the effects what they've really done is cool is, is they've really made a lot of the um, parameters that you wouldn't normally think of uh, modulatable too so um, you can, you know, modulate the, de the decay time and stuff like that. And you have, you know, multiple sources you can use for that. So I would explore any function that you see on here, um, within any of your menus to see if they've made it, uh, a modulatable source, which is uh, pretty sweet. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I hope you learned something, leave a comment below and let me know, uh, what your new favorite feature is on the black box. Um, I think mine is probably the the resonance and the modulation uh alpha on the filter i guess that's two but uh i'll take them so uh leave a comment below and hit the like and subscribe and uh if you want to check us out we have a patreon we really appreciate your support over there uh giving away some free downloads and some extra unreleased tracks and material so um hope you have a great day thanks for watching